Hi there, welcome to a uh, SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the line command. Um, the line command you will use pretty much every time you uh, create a sketch uh, in SOLIDWORKS. It is going to be one of the main bases for creating um, your parts within SOLIDWORKS. So we'll just have a very brief overview of it. If we open up the part, uh, it's a little bit slow getting open. Okay, we find the line tool under the sketch tab in the command manager, and we can see it's just there. There are two options: there is line and center line. Uh, we're just going to look at line at the moment. So if we click that, and then SolidWorks is coming up saying that we need to select a plane uh, to sketch on. So I'm just going to select our front plane, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to click N, which is normal to, and then we'll just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we are going to just first of all create our first line. So I'm just going to click anywhere, drag, and then click again. And we've created our first line. Now, SOLIDWORKS, along with other uh, CAD programs such as AutoCAD, produces lines in a series of chains. So when we click, it creates an anchor point, and then it will then start to create a second line. So if I click there again, we can see we have our second line. And if I drag away and click again, we have our third line. So to get out of the chain, or to stop drawing lines, we can either press Escape, or we can right-click and press End Chain. We can also double click as well. So there we have it, we have our three lines. Now, if we don't want to click uh, and then end the chain, we can simply click, drag, and then release the mouse button. And then when you move the mouse away, you can see that you have just a single line with no uh, secondary lines or chains linked to it. Uh, that's extremely handy if you, you're starting off and you don't want to be drawing too many lines. You just want to draw single lines to get used to the program. Okay, so there we have our lines. One of the things that we do have to be careful of is SOLIDWORKS will use all the lines visible within its sketch to create a feature if we select Extrude. When uh, you first start off, you may create a couple of small lines such as these. Say if we are clicking and dragging and you've realised, oh, I want to go back, I don't want to draw that. You can see that we've actually created an arc. It's quite, uh, it's quite sensitive sometimes to draw in additional entities. So we can just delete that there. So for the first couple of times that you draw something, I would recommend you use the click, drag and release way so you don't get any erroneous lines. So we've gone over drawing the basic lines, so if we need to select them, uh, we can simply click from right to left and if we click from right to left, it will select the line even if we're just touching it. So that's pretty handy if we want to quick delete. However, I want to delete the this line here, and I want to delete these two lines there. So if I drag from left to right, even though it is touching these two lines here, it won't delete them as the selection box doesn't completely surround it. So that's pretty handy for uh, deleting things quickly, and you don't want to be clicking specific lines. Okay, well that's a very brief overview of the line tool. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to know, uh, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment box and we'll get back to you soon. Uh, we hope to see you soon and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, it's www.facebook.com forward slash ma77design and it's www.twitter.com forward slash ma77design. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.